Okay guys, today's video, we're gonna talk about having a positive relationship with self, the importance of having a good relationship with self and things that we can do to have a positive relationship with ourselves. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about um, why it's important to have a good relationship with ourself. Because we have to understand the why before we start to like understand anything else. <clears throat> And it's just as important to have a good internal relationship as, it's, as it is to have a positive external relationship. And this goes with spouses, this goes with husbands, like friends, family, everybody. The relationship should be the same level of like pure love. And you can only love others as much as you love yourself. If somebody says like they, they think you're pretty and you reject that in yourself and you disagree with that, then you might be able to take the compliment, but you still won't believe it. Um, and you certainly won't accept it. So as you grow in yourself and you learn to love yourself more, then other people will start to compliment those things and you'll be open and receptive to taking them um, fully and openly because you love those aspects. You're like, yeah, well, thanks. I really appreciate that you said that I'm really pretty. I, I think that I'm pretty too. Um, you're very beautiful in response. And then you pass on that love around. Um, but you can't pass that on or receive it if you don't love yourself first because you can only love others as much as you love yourself. And you can only allow others to love you as much as you love yourself. And so it's extremely important to love yourself first. I mean, this is all you have the whole time. Your parents, like as you grow up, you're gonna separate and leave the home. You can go out, you're gonna get to work, your friends are gonna change and like grow and fade away. And like all of these things happen and the whole time it's just a you in here and this shell and all of this, it's you the whole path. And so you have to maximize that and make that your most like um, positive weapon. And so it's really important to get a hold of your internal self because that plays through on how you manifest as well. If you have a negative internal character, then that's gonna come off as like some negative actions or reservations. You're gonna like hold grudges or do something that's not fair for others um, or yourself. So that's really why it's important to have a good positive relationship within self as we're growing in ourselves as spiritual beings we're growing into that pure positive self and through that pure positivity that's emanating through all aspects of our being that's not just how we act that's not just how we speak it's not just how we feel it's how we think it's all of it it's everything that comes through in our manifested experience as a positivity and anything that's negative it's for us to sort it out within ourself and find that positive and harmonic balance within that and find that love and encourage ourselves to grow and keep doing better. So some things that we can do to have a more positive balance a relationship with self, I'm pointing backwards because like myself is like in here, um, is in your meditation time, spend time looking through yourself. So spend time acknowledging like the different things that you've done, different beliefs that you have, spend time like sifting through yourself and like accept every bit of it don't reject it even like the bad stuff don't reject any of it accept it all accepting it all and it'll really give you that opportunity to start to like see you for like you like, replay that family memory of like yourself and then you start to like love all of that other really really beneficial outlets is having spouses talk to you and talk to your spouses about their whole experience the whole time like let's start as a child where's your earliest experience and then like ask all the questions okay then like what was the next one and then like what did you do and like what was that like and then how did it keep building and how did it keep growing what were the grades like what were your different types of thoughts and experiences um and go through everything along the way when was the first time you stole when was the first time you had a kiss like all of these emotions have to come like back up so we can chew back through them and the best way to bring them out is have somebody else that we love bring them out with us because then they give them that undying love that pure love sometimes it can be hard for us to love ourselves and like bring that up and saying like yeah i treated this person unfairly acknowledging that but still loving yourself for the, like who you are as a being so all of that led you to here today to now we're still growing we're still improving these are just improvement points we're not holding that against ourselves we're learning to love and grow out of that and so having that other person who loves us truly and like undyingly all the way uh, helps a lot it helps a lot 
and then we can just like be ourselves. we can just get this out of that and then they can fill that space with love and we can find appreciation in that too because then they'll bring those comments out and be like oh thanks i didn't think of it that way or i didn't have that perspective or you know appreciation and then that'll help us so um find others find your group this is where um therapy is really helpful for like addicts and recoverers recovering addicts is because in a group environment they're able to share their experience they're able to relate to others they're able to get it out getting it out is the first and most important part um outside of that it's loving yourself being accepting of all of who you are find your your fears and like harmonize with them if you're afraid of like your appearance you don't like your appearance you chastise your appearance you need to push yourself to have the opposite perspective to say good things about yourself to say positive things about yourself to have like positive manifestation from yourself you have to push this out of you it has to come from within in your inner desire if you have like internal selves who tell you to do bad things who suggest like negative outlets or like let's waste all of our money at the arcade let's eat junk food let's not take care of ourselves let's do this versus like a positive you need to stop yourself and then fix that and saying, hey, those aren't the types of choices that we make. Those aren't the types of actions that we take. These are corrective actions. This is what we're gonna do instead. And build that relationship. When you mess up, don't allow your internal self to kick you while you're down and saying, hey, you messed up, you can't do it, you're not good enough, whatever negativity it's got coming out. Push that back at it and saying, no, every time we mess up, we're learning and growing. So. I need you to be positive. If you're going to be in my space, if you're going to be within my realm, you're going to be positive and encouraging. And, and so when I do mess up, you're going to tell me things like, oh, we can do it. We just made a mistake. Like, good job. We learned. And I need that positive re encouragement. So <clears throat> that's what has to happen. And then as you force that communication you say it out loud you can say it with your mind there's like however you want to make feel and say it don't allow your ego to make you feel silly don't allow your ego to make you feel like you're too good to say the words out loud and correct yourself if your ego says that you're too good to bring corrective action to yourself then you should be teaching others on how to like correct themselves and have a higher standard in their lifestyle because you've obviously reached the point where there's nothing else for you to like continue to learn so you need to bring that teaching to others it's about ultimately fixing ourselves so we can fix others but we have to take that responsibility on ourselves. we have to say hey look self this is not okay behaviors we need be corrective behaviors hey this is thoughts emotions actions like these are not okay and corrective behaviors these are the proper ones i still love you for it like it's okay that we made the mistake let's go tell all these people sorry because we we heard all of them but we're gonna grow and when this comes back around we're not gonna make the same mistake like that's unacceptable behavior so we're just gonna do better know that and push yourself to do better find that circumstance chase it down if you know you have like hard time communicating with others push yourself to go and build communicative relationships and healthy friendships with with friends um, start with your inner circle call people more if not Go to like a meditation and push yourself to talk to somebody every time you go there. Find what you need and push yourself to go get it. And then it'll allow yourself to build. It'll get that power back inside of you. It'll bring your light back. It'll bring all of your higher aspects back in because you're pushing all of that down and through. You know better, act better, do better. You're responsible for yourself and all of your behavior. Nobody else is. Nobody else is responsible for you or your behavior. That's 100% from internal self. And we have to get all of this under control. And it's about having a positive and healthy relationship the whole way. And that's how you get it under control. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I'll try and get back to them. Um, it is about having a positive relationship with everything in the environment. Everything we come across, has we have to build positive relationships. First ourself, then our environment learn to love. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.